welcome back everyone to another quick review by Fat Ninja Studios. I'm your host Jackie K and today we are being visited by Uma. Before we begin, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to haunt that bell icon to stay up to date with our latest releases. Spoiler warning ahead. Overall, the film was spooky but not scary. A mix between Korean and Japanese legends, it doesn't really delve deep enough into the rituals behind the haunting. I think this film suffered from trying to juggle too many themes. That of the empty nest syndrome, traumatic abuse, spirituality, tradition, ghost legends, etc. When we finally do get any backstory, it's in a quick dialogue scene that just spews exposition and the film is pretty much over. I ended up having to do research to understand what I just watched, and usually that's a good thing in horror that's based on contemporary legends, but in this case it was so that the film made any sense at all, not because I was intrigued to learn more about a particular subject. The atmosphere of the film has its creepy moments, it is well shot, but the rest of the film is just filled with typical jump scares. The moments when you're supposed to be confused by whether she's dreaming or if it's actually happening aren't really all that confusing or mysterious. There's a lot of artsy scenes which feel cobbled together from better films. That being said, it is a pretty decent film, and with the lack of any real big horror movies coming out lately, it's a nice little time filler. It won't have the same impact as other Asian adapted films like The Grudge or The Ring, but it will find its niche market, I'm sure. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. If you come across it on streaming, it might be worth a watch. I do want to thank you for checking out our video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. You can reach out to us on Twitter, at Studios Fat, or chat with us on Discord, which is linked below. I've been your host, Jackie K. Thanks again, and take care.